I recommend during pregnancy. And I'm kind of glad I'm doing it now versus in the beginning of my pregnancy because I feel like I've been through a lot of different products and now I kind of know what I would actually recommend for people that I utilize and try. Um, so anyway, I'm going to back up a bit and let you know that in the beginning of my pregnancy, I was very fearful of using anything that was like not organic or um, that basically had any chemicals in it. And the reason being is because I went through IVF and um, I read a book called It Starts With The Egg and I highly recommend um, if you're having any fertility issues or just in general to read the book. Um, and along with that, I would recommend you watch the documentary called The Human Experiment. Um, both of those things really affected the way I viewed things. Um, and the products that I wanted to use on my body, especially through my first trimester. Um, I was a little bit crazy with products then, but I've kind of calmed down since then um, in terms of what I use now. Um, in the beginning, I was using like organic makeup and uh, chemical-free shampoos and conditioners and like everything I put on my body was completely natural. Um, unfortunately, the shampoo and conditioner kind of ruined my hair. I had to cut off quite a bit. Um, so I've s since switched from that, but I'm still using a lot of different organic and natural products. Um, so I'm gonna go through those here in a minute, but I also wanted to address stretch marks. Um, I get a lot of comments on my social media asking what I have done to prevent stretch marks. And honestly, um, you know, sometimes stretch marks are genetic and you're pretty much gonna get them regardless of what you do. But I do believe there are some ways to prevent them. Um, starting internally is probably the most important. A lot of people don't realize that your skin elasticity is affected by um, your, you know, your collagen levels and you can help your boost your collagen levels through eating gelatinous foods. So I highly recommend eating things like chia seeds, seaweed, um, bone broth is great, um, things like that which will help kind of give your skin more elasticity through the inside rather than trying to prevent them just on the outside when they've already kind of formed. So um, I do add chia seeds into my oatmeal pretty much every day. Um, I do try to eat seaweed when I can. It's not one that's super easy to inc incorporate into a diet, but um, I do recommend that. And along with that, um, the products that I currently have been using and pretty much through my pregnancy um, is this is called, let's see if you can see this, um, Mother's Special Blend. It's an all natural skin toning oil. Um, and what is in it is almond oil, coconut oil, cocoa butter, and vitamin E. Um, all things that are great for preventing stretch marks. I like that it's formulated as a mix already so you don't have to do um, them separately or apply them separately. Um, I got this on Amazon. I will put a link uh, below this video on where you can buy it. Um, but I've been using this. I really like it. It's not overly greasy. Um, I use it after the shower and then before bed, um, I trade this and another product that I'll show you next. Um, so organic shea butter. This is the one I've been using. Um, it's unrefined organic African shea butter. Um, I like this one basically because um, it comes directly from Africa and it says that the wages go to women in Ghana. So. Um, I felt like it was a good cause. It is USDA organic, um, and I've been using this throughout my whole pregnancy. I think I started at 10 weeks. Um, so anyway, I like this product a lot. I think I've gone through two of these already. Um, it is a little bit more, it's thicker than an oil like that one. Um, so it looks like this on the inside. Um, it's a little harder to put on. You have to kind of warm it up for it to kind of rub in. So between these two though, I kind of alternate back and forth. Um, I would definitely recommend both these products uh, for preventing stretch marks. I have none, I'm 34 weeks tomorrow and I have no stretch marks as of now. So um, one last thing with that is hydration. Make sure you're drinking enough water. Water is going to be um, 
key component in skin elasticity as well. So um, along with that, let's see, some products that I also recommend that I've utilized through my pregnancy um, is this company that does tank tops. Um, it's called Blanky, I believe. And I will, again, link that below. But the Blanky tank tops, um, they're supportive tank tops. I have one on underneath of this right now. Um, but I like these because they're made in the USA. They're meant to support your belly in pregnancy um, and take strain off your lower back. They're very, very fitted. I have on a medium and it's like tight. So if you don't like compression wear, you might not like them. Um, they are expensive, but I highly recommend them. I was uh, referred to this company by a friend of mine and she wears them even postpartum just for extra support. Um, and I like that they're long. So anyway, I use those underneath my clothing um, quite a bit. I have a few different colors, so I do recommend that as a product. Um, people ask me about active wear all the time and what I wear uh, through my pregnancy for working out. I swear by the Lululemon Align pants. Um, they're non-compression workout pants or leggings and they are amazing. They're so soft and I literally could live in them. I have five pairs now. So um, they are expensive. They're I think they're about $100 a pair, but I think they're worth it because they're you can wear them to the gym or just every day. Um, amazing pants. Highly recommend you check them out. Again, the Lululemon Align leggings is what they're called. Um, as far as sports bras, I have gotten most of my sports bras from Victoria's Secret. Um, I believe the line is a strappy double V line. It's a new sports bra line that just came out this year. And I really like them for pregnancy. Um, my breasts have grown quite a bit, but I feel like they're very soft and supportive and I just, I like them. Um, the only problem with them is I think they only go up to a size large, um, which is fairly small on me now, uh, but I'm still wearing those most of the time. Um, and they're only 20 bucks, so not too bad on price point. Um, let's see, what else? Um, if you're traveling a lot, I recommend these right here. They are the Miracle Socks, um, and they help so that you don't swell. I forgot these on one flight out of the like 10 flights I went on in the last couple of months, and my ankle swel swelled so bad. If you follow me on Snapchat, you probably saw that, but um, I wore them every other time, never ever had another issue with swelling at all. Um, I just slipped them on when I got on the plane and wore them during the flight, and literally haven't had any water retention or anything since. So, Miracle Socks, highly recommend if you're going to fly while pregnant. Um, skin care, let's go back to that. So, along with uh, the stretch mark stuff, for my face, I've been using, this is the Belly brand anti-blemish facial wash. Um, I like this company because it is allergy tested free of artificial dyes, fragrances, um, paraben, preservatives, all that good stuff. So, um, pretty clean product. It doesn't have a lot of chemicals or anything like that in it. Um, it is meant for um, hormonal acne. So, I do believe this has worked fairly well on me. I got acne my first trimester and I haven't since. So, um, I recommend that. I have the um, spot corrector as well. That's from the same brand, the Belly brand. Um, along with that, I have this facial scrub. It is a, um, let's see here, Vita Scrub Acne Treatment. It's kind of like a microdermabrasion scrub. It's it's very grainy, um, but absolutely love this stuff. I got this from a doctor friend of mine, so I'm actually not sure where you can buy it, but I will link his website. Maybe you can just get it through him if you're interested. Um, it makes my skin so shiny, um, takes off all the dead skin and that sort of thing. Um, and I really like it. I'm almost out, so I'm going to get another one. Um, along with that, I get asked a lot about tanning products and what I've done for tanning. Um, locally, I work with Year Round Brown Tanning Company. And uh, after I was out of my first trimester, I did start spray tanning through them um, for 
events and trips. Um, I do wear nose plugs and their tanning formula is all natural. Um, it is considered safe for pregnancy, but I still did it minimally um, and I did wear the nose plugs and made sure I wasn't breathing anything in. Um, I do recommend it if you want to get tanned during pregnancy. I think the Versa Spray Tan, which is what I did, works great. Um, I love the product. It doesn't make you stink. Um, so that's what I did for big events. Um, but I also used Eco Tan. Um, I posted this company a while back. Um, it's an all natural tanning product that comes out of Australia. And I like it because it's not tested on animals, it's organic, it's certified toxic free, it's vegan, all that good stuff. Um, since using this product, the Invisible Tan, Eco Tan has sent me this new tanning product. It's their Cacao Firming Mousse. And I will say I like this one better than this one. Um, this one seems like it goes on a little bit easier. It's not as streaky. Um, and it leaves a really pretty color. Um, this one this one worked well too, but I just think this one works a little bit better. So if you're interested, um, Eco Tan, they're out of Australia. And that is what it's called. Um, I'm going to use this more now that I'm kind of near the end of my pregnancy. And I don't really feel like spraying as much. But uh, I do recommend this product. They also make a face tan water that I highly recommend. It's just like a facial tanning product. And it works really good. And it's all natural as well. Super clean ingredients. All that good stuff. Um, Eco Tan also makes deodorant. So this is the natural deodorant I use. Right here, it's called Coconut Deodorant. Um, I know a lot of people have problems with natural deodorant actually working. Um, I haven't had any issues with this except maybe like a total of three times in the last seven or eight months. Um, where I've noticed I feel like I smell a little bit. But I just apply more and it, it, I'm fine. And my husband's never complained. Nobody's ever told me I stink. So I think it works pretty good. Um, again, I like that it's organic, all natural. Um, I just will not use a regular deodorant, so this is the one I've found that's natural that I can use and get away with. Um, so, uh, EcoTan also makes a body wash. Um, I've been using that as well for in the shower. Um, again, all natural clean ingredients, highly recommend it. Um, along with that, I will get into some products I haven't used, but I've purchased, um, that I've I think I'm going to recommend. So um, this is the hands-free breast pump bra that I, re I ordered off Amazon. Um, so if you can see her there. Um, the point is your, bre your breast pump isn't hands-free unless you bought the really expensive hands-free one. So this bra just helps you do other things while you're pumping. So um, it's a lot cheaper than buying a hands-free breast pump. So, got that off Amazon. I'll link this as well to the bottom of this video. Um, along with that, let's see. Oh, I got it in two colors, so black and tan. Um, this was something that was recommended to me uh, by somebody on Snapchat, I believe. And it's called Milk Milky's Milk Saver. Um, so, basically, I guess when you're nursing on one side, the other side tends to leak quite a bit. Um, and this helps you catch the breast milk from the other side so you don't waste any. I thought it was a cool idea and um, the person who recommended this said that it saved them like tons of breast milk that they were able to save for the baby. So I figured why not try it. Again, I got it on Amazon. So um, along with that, I got these nursing bras on Amazon. Uh, this was a three pack. They're seamless. They look very, very comfortable. I have not tried them on yet, um, but I did order them and they had great reviews. And they, as far as I can tell, they look very comfortable um, because again, they're seamless. And I think they're going to be great for those postpartum boobies. So um, let's see. I think that is 
really it as far as what I recommend in terms of product um, and what I've been using or what I can say that I would recommend up to this point. Um, in the beginning, I did use a lot of different products. I saw people post or at least I bought them and then I didn't really use them. So um, these are all things that I've used through my pregnancy for the most part except those last couple items and that I would highly recommend. Um, again, so look at the bottom of this video for links. I will link them. And if you have any questions or comments, please comment below and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys.